Hey everyone, Ari here. So I got a lot of DMs asking me about how I career changed into IT. Um, those of you that are familiar with technology positions and being in engineering know that you have to have a bachelor's in computer science to even be an engineer, whether it's network engineering or software engineering, those are prerequisites. My bachelor's is in communication, radio, TV, and film. Um, and I also have half a master's in elementary education. No technical background whatsoever, but I've been around technology all my life. My dad used to work for IBM in the 90s as a system analyst. And I had my first personal computer at five years old, which was a Atom computer for those nerds out there that know what that is. So um, I want to tell you uh, or give you some tips on how to hack into IT um, because I've literally career changed into it myself in my 20s. So um, if you're looking to be a network engineer that does wireless, wireless, routing, switching, security, right? If you're interested in those type of technologies, um, that's network engineering. If you're interested in more coding, making websites and web pages and applications and cloud stuff and data storage, that is software engineering or what we call coding. I am not that. I am not a software engineer. I cannot code to save my life. I can barely code in Python and Linux. Okay, let's be real. So if you're looking for that, some of this will apply to you, some of it may not, okay? But in a nutshell, to hack into IT is this. If you don't have a technical degree or background, you do not have to go back to university to get it. One, student loans are still eating me alive, and two, nobody's trying to go back to school. We're not doing that. What's really cool about IT is there's a lot of boot camps that you can get into. You pay a couple thousand dollars, you learn how to code in C+, or C-sharp, or HTML, or stuff like that. Certain languages, Java, Python, Red Hat. You can learn a programming language through boot camps. Some of them are remote, or some of them are on site at a training facility or university, right? I think boot camps online are the way to go. Um, you may get sticker shock because they will, the good ones will cost a couple thousand dollars. Um, and they usually take on average maybe eight to 24 weeks. So they're usually very fast paced. So if you're going to invest the money and do it, make sure you have the time and you're committed to it. Okay. Um, if you are trying to do what I do, which is network engineering, um, what's really cool about network engineering is there are, there's a main vendor, um, Cisco, Cisco systems. If you have a Cisco certification, that's pretty much golden in network engineering because most companies use Cisco um, equipment, right? And all the other vendors, the uh, config parameters are very similar to Cisco syntax, right? Or, or Cisco's language, you can say, all right? That's how I got started. I took a Cisco bootcamp. Um, I, I got my CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate degree. And then I specialized. I got my CCNA wireless, CCNA security, they have CCNA service provider, they have CCNA for vo uh, voice. If you're just breaking into network engineering, just definitely get your CCNA. That's a very hard one to get. It's broken, broken up into two tests. And take a CCNA boot camp to prepare you for that. The reason being, if you have no background or knowledge in IT and you try to hop into a highly technical field, Without having a certification and training and knowledge, nobody's going to hire you. And um, I think one of the reasons for my success is I had three Cisco certifications before I even attempted to get into the job market, right? So um, I was in California. I took a boot camp. Um, and then I took, uh, I think I took an eight-week boot camp to get my CCNA and then took the test failed twice, got it on the third one. Um, then I took a 90 day boot camp and then got my CCNA wireless and CCNA security. So, um, and also the boot camps give you an opportunity to see if this is what you really want to do. If you have, if you're good at math and science and have a very logical, rational brain, it might be very easy for you to pick up on concepts, right?
So it's also giving you an opportunity to be like, do I really want to do this for the rest of my life? There's six figures to be made in IT, but it comes with a lot of risk and a lot of reward because you really have to use your brain. And some days my brain is just like, fuck, I don't want to think anymore. Like it's really complex some days. So it's a challenge, but it can definitely be done, especially if money is your driver. <laughs> just find a technology or a language you're interested in that you love and it can be a very rewarding career financially and personally for you. So I hope that helps out. And um, thanks for asking about uh, career changing in the IT. It's definitely possible. I'm not the only one who's hacked into it. So I encourage you ladies and guys to uh, join me on this. But we need more ladies in IT. Let's be clear, okay? So I join you all.